I mean, they're missing out when they're not on live, but. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's okay. just something about being live. That right. Well, then we get to do all of it. It's very right. different. It's a lot more fun. Yeah, it's totally more fun. Okay. So announcements. So um, the Mother's Day um, kit is coming out um, April 1st, which, so I wonder if that's why they released those other products before. Early. Because so, so that it would hopefully <clears throat> help with the system overload. Oh, so, good idea. Yeah. I'm thinking that's my guess why. So anybody who was dying to have the deodorant or the ginger drops or the yoga oils individually could go ahead and get those now. And then whoever, because then Mother's Day will be available April 1st. So it'll be, so it's the Mother's Day, the oil, Citrus Bloom with- Which sounds fabulous. Yes. With the Brevi, Di Brevi Diffuser. And it's pretty. It's this like white grayish marble thing. Have you guys seen it? I, had, I don't remember what the diffuser looks like, but I remember hearing about the oil and I thought that oil sounds really good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's nice. Is so, it made from the bloom of citrus fl flower or the citrus trees then? Um, oh, do Instead I have... of like the citrus oil, it's the, cit the blooms? No, because I think it's citrus and floral is what I think it is. Oh, like a mix of it. Yeah. You don't have to look it up. It's okay. I can. Find I already it have it right here. <clears throat> Wild orange, grapefruit, <laughs> lavender, Roman chamomile, and magnolia. Ooh, I bet that smells really good. Yeah, a good mood oil. And the Brevi diffuser is really pretty. I was going to see if I could. I'm going to find you a, a picture really quick because it's super pretty. And um, okay, while we're speaking about diffusers your cute little elephant how long does it run so fun i don't know but it doesn't seem to last all night yeah. i'm still trying to figure it out because um <clears throat> i'm not always the one who fills it like sometimes it's brandon sometimes it's max sometimes it's me mm -hmm. so i don't know if last night if it got turned on or it got overfilled because it still had quite a bit of water left in it so i was like what mm -hmm. So I, I just think I it's adorable. And my little Rosie, I've, ha I've been running my Rosie pig for either two years or three years. No way. And yeah. It's just keeps going and going, but it is, I've been running it long enough that it's the plastic is finally getting eaten away. Wow. And it is permanently stained horrible colors in yeah. the lid. And I just think one of these days it's going to quit. And I've got another one, but I'm like, you know, it might be fun to get one of these other ones, but if it only runs four or five hours, I don't. Yeah. Want I don't know. I got to do some digging because <laughs> I think it's supposed to run all night, like while this, mm -hmm. but it doesn't seem to be. So I don't know. I've got a, we've only ran it a couple of nights. There you go. Right there. Isn't that pretty? That it really is pretty. I wonder how so long it's it like, runs. it's like, um, it looks like the black one. Yes, it's just mm -hmm. like the black one, except it's like this white with this like marbled gold and gray in it. What does it say? It says two, five, or ten. Is that what it says? I can't see it good enough. I'll Lorraine, do you have the Brevi, Diff Brevi Diffuser? Um, yes. Does it two, five, or ten hours? Isn't it two and four? Can't, I can't remember. I've only used it once in the room. I'm like 99% sure that says two, five, and 10. So that'd be awesome. Probably intermittently at 10, but that would be cool. Yeah, it says something next to right. the 10. Oh, I'm sorry. Now you've got my Facebook pictures popping up. Or Probably says e INT notifications. Yeah, somebody's got cancer. They're asking for stuff. Yeah, um. So We can look at it closer later. Yeah. Oh, wait. I can click on it. I'm so dumb. No, I'm not dumb. You're just uh, tired. Enter full screen. Oh, Oh yeah. The difference is 2, 5, and 10, but I can't tell what that says. I'll bet it's 10 intermittently. Mm -hmm. not. That's something continuous. in a circle. Yeah. I'll bet you. Mm. But it, it really is pretty. Yeah. Go. Let me go get it. <clears throat> okay. Now I don't know how to get out of click your escape yeah yes i was hitting escape there we go okay um that's cool it's very very pretty so here's the cool thing though oh lorraine's i gotta wait for lorraine yeah she's gonna go get her she's diffuser. going to get her diffuser it's very pretty so it's 
If you buy just the oil by itself, it's twenty four fifty. If you buy it with the diffuser, it's forty four. I think. So we can buy the oil individually. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Yep. I haven't been selling diffusers lately. You have not selling what? Because it's been so. You know, I haven't had the market for them, and so. I'm not sure if I want another diffuser. I have this like mm. diffuser. Yeah, so if you don't want problems. the diffuser, I think the diffuser is really pretty. Like I think I want it one really just is. for me. But okay. um but I've got eight or ten diffusers. Oh yeah. And yeah. I'm just like, do I really need another I love diffusers, but I have a collection problem. <laughs> and <laughs> not like Lorraine and Roberta. Not with oils, no, but I have a diffuser problem. <laughs> too funny so anyway yeah you can get the oil by itself and so i called today there's a limit of four per account for each one for each account or for for each oils one so you can get it sounds like you can get four this is what she told me today unless she was wrong but you can get four of the oils and then you can get four of the oils with the diffusers oh i see okay yeah oh well that's not a bad idea yeah so if anybody's wanting to stockpile citrus bloom lorraine <laughs> I'll take at least five. Lorraine will be like, I'll take eight, please. Yes, it's raining. You're fine. So, all right. Did you see on yours, Lorraine, what it says? How many? Very tiny writing. Yeah. It says five minutes, and then it has an arrow going this way and an arrow going this way. So it's five minute interval, probably. Oh. It says five min. And this on one says hours. 10 hours, but then it has the arrow in the circle that says five minutes. So at interval, it runs? Mm -hmm. Every five minutes it goes on. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Which is supposed to be better because then your nose isn't like used to it, I guess, or whatever. Anyway. Okay, cool. Well, anyway. They did say something to the effect of you don't necessarily need a continuous run as long as you're getting right benefits of it like every it was like 10 or 20 minutes or something yeah like intermittent i think is better than continuous run but i continuous run is easy yeah so i'm all about, all about easy okay <clears throat> so i am super excited about the sales guide i think it's a great new tool and poor brandon i don't think i told him but he like spent all this time scanning it in as a PDF for me so that I'd have something to screen share with you guys. And then doTERRA came out with a version <laughs> because you couldn't, when I had, when I got it, you couldn't download it, print it, buy it, anything. And then since then they've come out with this. So you can buy them or you can download them. So you can just order them right on your back office. They're not in the, literature section yet i had to like do a search in my back office for sales guide mm -hmm. click on it that way so i don't know where they are so they're not in the literature section of where they should but be. you can find an electronic one if you search for it yeah um i did a search and then i did anyway i had to click on one and click on one again like it said to read more how about to read more about how to use the sales guide click here and i clicked on that and then it brought me to another thing where it talked about it, like broke it down to all the different sections. And down at the bottom of that, it was download a PDF version. So anyway, so that's good. Plus you can buy them. So what are these little pink boxes they're doing with? Um, that's a good question. Who knows? They're doTERRA boxes. It says doTERRA on it right here. I have no idea what those are, what they're supposed to be. I wonder if they're maybe going to change their packaging. They're opening up boxes of oils, but. And it could just be a sales marketing thing. More general you know what it thing. kind of looks like? I wonder if it's the healthy yeah. habits kit. Maybe. Oh, it looks like it. It's got GX assist and. Yeah. Think... Just a minute. Cause I pulled that. I, I posted that in, um, Reshare builds the other day because somebody was asking what the maybe it's this and what's that blue ball? It has the vitamins. It looks like it looks like touch to touch oils. <laughs> it 
The green bottles. Oh, no, that's not it then. Okay, because the Healthy Habits has different things. It's got the vitamins, but it's got Terrazyme, PB Assist. It doesn't have Digest Tabs. And it doesn't have Touch Oils. It actually has full bottles of oil. So I don't know what that is. I have no idea. But they, they're making it look like it's some enrollment kit, but these don't look like... I have no idea. It could just be a marketing thing. Yeah. Sometimes they do things that... They did it for color. Yeah, they did yeah. it for color. That's probably what they did. <clears throat> okay. So anyway, this is a great tool though, because really this is like a sales training that you could pay like a lot of money for, but here you have it for free from doTERRA. Because doTERRA rocks. They are so awesome. And they're always bringing like the best tools to us. Okay. So they just talk about know what you're selling, which is basically like know how to use the products. <laughs> First step in any thing is to use the product, right? It's always talking about how important it is to use the product. And so they, they give you like, like these little things to kind of brainstorm or write down what are three ways doTERRA has impacted your life? What is the difference you can make in other people's lives? What do you want to offer that changes or that that's change? A good, that's a good tool for helping you know your reason why. Yeah, it totally is. And it doesn't need to be anything amazing. Like mine is like to help people live longer, right? And to live a better quality of life. Like it's nothing, it doesn't need to be anything like, earth shattering. Okay. Then they have this little wheel here where they've taken the pipes <coughs> and they will, um, they incorporate this later. I guess I was just pointing that out because they'll, they'll bring it up later. So I love this part. It says embrace sales because you've always been a salesperson. And they talk about how like, you know, have you ever told somebody about a new restaurant or a good hair salon? you were being a salesman then, like, right? Like exactly. that's what sales is. We share things that we like. And I really like this right here. They say, this is an amateur salesperson. This is a professional salesperson, you know, knows and believes in the product, creates a sharing environment, builds a relationship with people who say no, leaves everybody in a good mood, coachable, positive, has a vision for their life and business and finds a way. So just great stuff to to focus on there and then and then breaking it down this I thought was brilliant it says think of the last time you had a negative experience with a salesperson what did they do that you did not like and then how did you feel about it and then do the then do the flip side like what's the last time that you had or when's the last time you had a positive sales experience and what did they do that you liked how did you feel isn't that cool? Yeah. Because it really you helps to identify those key things that <clears throat> you want to implement or not implement um, by going off of what other people are doing when they're selling. So I thought that, I really liked that idea, that reflection. Good food for thought, huh? Yeah, it was. Um, and they just have some really great little quotes here at the bottom, like just everywhere. Like I literally read this cover to cover. I just was so fascinated with it. Um, but yeah, so just even like this little quote here at the bottom, it was just, or not, it's a quote, but little thought, you know? Yeah. It's like all the books that we're reading in a nutshell. Exactly. It was pretty cool. <laughs> okay. So then they're talking about the um, the pyramid lifestyle or the py pyramid lifestyle. Oh my goodness. The wellness lifestyle. The wellness. Yeah. I was say the wellness pyramid and the wellness or the, what did you say? I love the wellness pyramid. I said yeah. wellness lifestyle, but it's a wellness pyramid. Yeah. Well, it's that is the lifestyle. Thing. Yeah, it is. So really, really cool stuff here. So they say, you see this part in bold that says most sales happen between the fifth and 12th contacts. Love, yeah, that's it. Up. love it because that is so cool. And I think honestly, those of you in, in Utah are even luckier <laughs> because guess what? You can, you already have other people doing the work for you. You just need to catch them the after right their fifth or 12th contact. Yeah. Cause somebody else. Well, that's the way it was with Melissa. She was on a completely different team. Oh, really? Yeah, she had enrolled. She she had been asking me about oils and got really really excited about them. 
and a neighbor of hers had a party a class and she enrolled at that class hmm. and she hated her experience with that person she's like they never um, talked to me i have no support can i please oh, that's so come awful. to your team you're the one that introduced me to me anyway and so she moved to my team and i've got the same thing with a couple other people yeah and it's, it's just like you know, uh, they've talked to other people about it and the timing just wasn't right. Yeah. And, and it is, that is one thing that we, I'm, we do have down, like we have such a great culture of support on our team. We really do. And I think that continuing education is a huge part of it. Oh yeah. Yeah, totally. You know, I love we it. We all talk about it. We're all plugged into it and we have so many opportunities to learn. If you're on our team and you're not learning, it's your own fault. <laughs> so true <laughs> you know? or they're not on Facebook but even then yeah. I send out newsletters I don't know yeah but yeah I try to do a lot I love I love supporting it's definitely my favorite part well that's what makes our team strong of the business yeah it definitely <laughs> is the key to, to Unilevel um so anyway so they have this part where they're talking about listening like listening to like they have this in the this is actually from the wellness consult if you will, or lifestyle overview, whatever they call it. And um, consider ask, asking questions to guide their self-evaluation. See these little questions that they have right here. I love these. Like, what is your motivation behind wanting to get more into natural solutions? So kind of understanding why people want that. Because um, you rate them, right? They rate them when they're right. doing their wellness consult. Anyway. And I, I just like love, that question. What would your life be like if you raised your lowest ratings? Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. I mean, these are just, yeah. they're such I think you'd have to word that a little differently or have your wellness consult before you do that. Because if I hadn't done wellness consults and known the, how to, that we do rate where we're at with those, uh -huh. that could be a, a little confusing, but yeah, I like that quote. Yeah. It's really good. I mean, I'm skimming over this, but you guys, this is so good. Like I would really consider reading this cover to cover because there's so many little, even just these little sentences you're like, what? Like it's just selling so doTERRA products offers hope. I love that. That's what I'm saying. Like there's just so many little things in here that are like every like impactful, you know, like it's all like for me anyway, I was reading through it and I was like, oh my goodness, this is so good. Anyway, so then they just talk about the listening part, right? Like how do you feel when the salesperson does all the time, <clears throat> you know, feel like they don't care about you. They're just trying to push their agenda. How do you avoid talking too much so you can find out your customer's needs? So which questions can you ask or whatever? Just places to kind of reflect. The way this is laid out, it reminds me of the Essential Life book. Just a oh, bit. yeah, a little bit. That's true. <laughs> so um, this is great. I love this part, too. So it says less effective to say, more effective to say, and then why. Why is it more effective? Oh, that's to say nice. This? Yeah. So um, for instance, if you go down to like the fourth one here, um, I know how you feel. Others felt the same way. Instead say, I totally get it. Maria said pretty much the same thing after understanding everything she can do with the natural solutions kit to help her family. She was excited to get started. So they say it's more effective to do a third person's specific experience, which was interesting. And this is to, I did this one and this totally worked so much better. This is so interesting because I'm like thinking some Tasha Smith stuff still in my head. Okay. And she always uses the word appointment. Like let's book an appointment. And they said, instead say, let's set up a time to visit for a few minutes. <laughs> and oh my goodness, doesn't that sound nicer? <clears throat> so and it's, I thought this was kind of funny though. It says the phrase book an appointment can make people feel like they're going to the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> you want to schedule a time to visit as you would with family or friends. And I was yeah. like, oh my goodness. Yes. So, true. so like, instantly after I, cause I would, I wouldn't even know what to say when I would book a one-on-one -on -one with people. So I would say like, you want to schedule an appointment, you want to schedule a one-on-one. -on -one. And that doesn't really sound very fun. Does it? Mm -mm. 
But so immediately after I did this, I was like, hey, let's, let's schedule a time so we can get together and visit and talk about oils. Oh my goodness, it sounds so much better. It sounds inviting. Sounds fun. Because you want to visit with your friends. You do. You totally you know? do. That's a good idea. Yeah. Well, instead of it just being like, it will only take 30 minutes. Instead, like, <laughs> you know, I don't know. The oil part will take 30 minutes, but I'm sure it's going to take longer than that because we're going to talk and have fun. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, it was interesting because the, the other one, and I, like I said, don't get me wrong. I learned so much from Tasha um, and I loved her stuff. Loved it, loved it, loved it. But there were a few things that seemed a little bit too cold to me um, <coughs> or not, not cold, impersonal. That's a better word. Yeah. Anyway, it was interesting. Sorry, what did you say, Lorraine? I says appointments are obligations. Yes, it's true. Yes. And they don't sound fun. So, okay, so then they say, they get into like mindset, skill set, tool set here. Good, so, that's important stuff. That's an important part of it. Absolutely that. important. Mindset is so important. <laughs> um, and they kind of just go through the like kind of key I love this. The accountability, coachability, vision, perseverance, positivity, and graciousness. So fun. Good. And then skills, top selling skills. And I love that they um, kind of go through each one and then tell you where to find it, where to find information for it. So they're like, look at the share guide, look at launch page, launch guide, page 11, you know? So if, if there's only, if there's something that you're not sure on or you're feeling like you're not great at, then check it off or, you know, go check it out. So you can check it off type thing. That's um, cool. But I like this. Yeah. And they're like, check off, check out the skills <laughs> you've currently mastered and tally your total at the bottom. I mean, you've done it all, then make it even better. And they go through the key um, skill set habits you know, the responsibility, time management, control, practice, consistency. And then they get into the tool set, which is stuff doTERRA. Basically, they're just like, this is what we have. Don't forget to use it. We created it for a reason. Don't, no need to reinvent the wheel. And then the same um, key tool set habits there. Okay, here's this sales cycle <laughs> that they brought back in. And so they just put in um, a few little extra words into that, into the pipes section here. Not many, but a few extra little words there, like the um, introduce, educate, close, invite, connect, follow up, enroll, answer questions, get referrals. So they took these nine these nine steps here and kind of they kind of put them in over here a little bit but I like it because it's, it's broken down a little bit more um in detail right I like to it's not just five yeah it's a little bit more detailed yeah because obviously <clears throat> it's a bit I mean, five more. was okay but I like I like that they're going into more detail like that yeah because that is the first step the first step is to connect with somebody Right. Right. You can't just like call somebody up and say, Hey, want to try some oils? Like that's. You can, but it's not effective. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's kind of weird. Not always. So anyway, um, yeah, they just have little, they've, I mean, we could spend all night on this anyway. So then they go through each one and I love that they have some sample scripts. Like it doesn't need to be Anything That's one of my favorite things about Latasha's training is she gave us. Yes, was the scripts absolutely. That helped me so much, just knowing what to say. Yes, and how to say it. Yep. You know. So no, I and I oh I love this, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm saying this about every page, but I mean, it's look so at that smile. Refer to people by name, like just things to remember that sometimes we don't think of, right? Like be positive. Well, I think we get so caught up in the, okay, I have to connect. Let's force this. Is it, you know, I right. think we overthink things yeah. and don't 
you know, we're putting too much pressure on them. This makes it so much more friendly and be more authentic. Yeah. Listen more yeah. than you talk. Oh, I just, I love all these little reminders. Okay. So that's the first thing. They look like they're having so much fun in that picture. Don't they? <laughs> okay. Then you have inviting, um, and they've got a sample script here. Um, and it, it sounds good. Like I was reading it and it's, it sounds good. I love that they say this. I'd love for you to be my personal guest. Like it's at my house on Thursday. So this is a class or they're saying, or if you can't, right. If you, or we can get together for lunch next Monday, what works best for you. I love that. So that's inviting them to a class. And I like that because it gives them an option to either come to a class or do a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Right. Cause you don't know what's going to be more comfortable for them. Right. And I love this because these are things that are so important. Okay. When talking on the phone, stand up, smile, and be enthusiastic. Even though the other person cannot see you, it helps you feel more confident and they'll hear the They smile will hear it in, in your, your voice, voice too. Totally. Totally. Anyway. Oh, it's just such good tips in here. Such good tips. And then introduce. And you said we can, we can purchase this in our back office if we want a hard copy yep yep um i had to search for it right i couldn't find it where it was right it wasn't easy to find but you could purchase it find. i still can't myself. figure out what section it's in but anyway it's then, in brochures it, it's in media doTERRA's media brochures and sales oh it says so right there in your link oh Oh, media. I didn't look there. I was looking under brochures and I couldn't find it. Yeah, it's in media. I don't even I could be guessing wrong, but that's I don't know where like media that. is. I don't know what media is under. But anyway. Hmm. Okay, so then again, they just go through all of these steps. So this is sampling. Um I mean just so many. I like that they have the sample script and then they have skill building things yes. that on each practice. one of these. I do too. I mm -hmm. love it. So then you can go through each of the nine steps. Cause you might know the um, script, but then if you aren't doing those things of skill building, like, you know, they mm -hmm. talk about not saying, um, so much and things like that. Mm -hmm. it helps you remember. Oh yeah. I got to remember that. Yeah. So you can totally read through this section to help you fine tune your skills so that you're constantly improving. Yeah, I love this sales guide. I think it's I think it's brilliant. It's beautiful. I mean, it's done very nicely. Mhm. Mm it is. So then we have close. I I love it. Remember that closing is something you do for someone and not to someone. <laughs> Down in the and then avoid asking, do you have any questions? Um, let's see, what was the other? Yeah, those were. <clears throat> Practice weaving in closing questions. I don't even remember reading this part. I've got to read through it again. I like that. Why do you feel your spouse would support? Or would be excited to get these in your home. Yeah. Yeah. And not would your spouse be on board or because how often do we get that rebuttal about well, spouse? You just wait. <laughs> That's in here. Okay. Then we have enrolling. The confused mind says no. We know that. Learn that from Tasha. Avoid showing an excess number of items. Keep it simple. Yep. Enroll people as a wholesale customer. Talk positively about more expansive kits. Um, let's see. Yeah. And then a sample script. Well, a whole section on answer objections. This gets even better, though. There's another one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So like what to say. I can understand why that would be a concern for you. If I'm hearing you right, you feel like the price of buying a kit is more than you want to invest right now. Is that right? I totally get it. It's frustrating to be on a tight budget. Like 
just really, really good. Validating them, but not contradicting or pushing. Right. I think we can come up with a solution that works for you. Can we brainstorm options to figure this out? Last week, Susan had the same concern. So she hosted a class where she invited 10 people and earned enough to purchase the kit she wanted. She was so excited. Okay, because then they have, oh, there's other, okay, there's another Common page. Common objections. Right here. Here we go. This is the page I was looking for. I <laughs> love this page. There's I know I love all the pages. There. Look at this. There you go. That's all of them right there. Yep. That is the top ones that I get. It's the top one everybody, everybody gets. That's awesome. My favorite was the spouse one. Basically, give them a deep blue rub sample. <laughs> yeah. Rub it on his back when you get home. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just That's awesome. fantastic. This was like, I was like, oh my goodness. <clears throat> everybody needs this just for this page right here. Yeah. So, so good. Yeah, I um, need to go read all this. And this is, I know, you guys totally have to read this cover to cover. Then it has true concerns and excuses. Like, so you kind of see the difference, right? Have you found that you get excuses more than true concerns? Way more? Um, or do you get valid concerns? No, I think, I think I get some of both. It's probably 50, 50, right? When people like can't or don't want to enroll for whatever reason, there's some where it's just not their thing or they're just yeah. not ready. They're not there yet. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Whatever. I think most people have, I think most people have valid concerns than excuses. See, I don't have that experience. Most of the people I have have excuses either because they're not ready or because they're not you know, really sold on it. They're not, yeah, well, they're still not ready. That's where I get the excuses from. My true concern people usually end up enrolling. Yeah. Yeah. I think they do. Because if we can, if we can um, address those true concerns, because right. most of them are resolve their concern. Yeah. Most of them are, are they really safe? And how do I use them? And, you know, things like that. But the, I just get so many excuses and they're just not valid. It's a, okay, here's my excuse. Don't talk to me. Right. So yeah. I get that a lot Anyway, more. but I love, I love these, that they've addressed these common, common objections. Yeah. I think I that's that. just so good that they did that. Um, gathering referrals. I thought this was good because I always feel awful when I'm asking people who, for referrals because it sounds so businessy, right? I have a hard time so it, transitioning to that. So right story. here. Yeah. So it <laughs> says avoid using the word referral. Instead, ask who came to mind during the class that they thought would have enjoyed being there. Yeah. Or I read somewhere else who, um, who should I be talking to? I don't see it. Or who do you know that I should be talking to? Because everybody has somebody pop into their Oh head. yeah. Oh, they all do. Yeah, and then they have a sample script, right? Which is similar to what Tasha's is. Anyway. Um, let's see what's next. Follow up, which is basically the, the lifestyle overview wellness consult. Be pleasantly persistent. So then they said, how did you rate? So now that you've gone through each one, right? You're supposed to rate yourself as we were going through. So oh, and say, even I like that revisit quarterly. Yes. So write today's date, so they write, write the date, Review. what your score was. Yeah. And then what the date is the next time. <laughs> Pretty Remind cool. You, remind you to review your skills. Absolutely. Because that's important. And then plan and track your success. So what are you going to do to improve this area? Like what was your low score? What are you going to do to improve it? 
because they had ideas, right, on your skill building there for you to do. You know, setting your sales goals. And that's it. There's your hope and wellness. That's cool. Was that the first quote you said that we used? I really yeah. liked it. It said it brings you hope. Hope oh, is that's right. It was a different one. Yeah. A needed word right now. Yeah. That if we can, you know, throw that in there, it can bring you hope that things can be better. Yeah. Whether it's emotional or physical or mental. Yeah. You know, we have such a problem right now. He just long was this 24. I, do, I love this sales guide. Love it. I think it is brilliantly done. Yeah. I love the layout of it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I love it all. I just think it's so good. So anyway. Something good to give a builder. Absolutely. What are interest in being a builder? Absolutely. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think this is like one of the like top two things that they need to have. Yeah, if they're going to want to do the business at all. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's crucial. Yeah. Because it would help at whatever stage you are in sales knowledge or, mm -hmm. you know, because you can know what to do. Or some people have heard of it and some people haven't. And I don't think it excludes either one of those people. Yeah. I see benefits in it having heard of sales things, but I also see somebody new benefiting from that too. So yeah. Kind of hits no, I, I agree. I think it's so well done. I think it's so, so beneficial for anybody and everybody. So I think especially for people that are just getting started mm -hmm. because I'd done it for years before I'd ever had Tasha's training and Tasha's training helped me so much in just the wording of what yeah. to say. But even this, for, it's helping me, um, right? Like there's yeah. things in there I that mean, I'm everybody like, everybody can benefit. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm like, I've been doing this for eons and I would, I like, I'm like, I am so confident in teaching my class and doing my clothes. Like, but I still have so much room to improve, right? Like we're never, we're, we, I don't think we've ever have arrived. Well, and I you think things change about it. so much. Yeah. You know? Things do change. Every time you get the hang of things, things change yeah. and for the better every time, in my opinion. Yeah. But. Yeah. And can I say, I just think it is so cool that they provide almost every handout there is on PDF. Yes. So in a pinch, you can print one off if you wanted to, mm -hmm. or you can mail it to somebody yep. or, and that is like super cool. It is. And then that they, they make sell them so cheap. Yeah. yeah. I loved when doTERRA started taking over the class materials, like the, the class handouts for natural solutions, because the price dropped so yeah. much. Because they're just charging printing costs, essentially. Yeah. That's cool. So okay. beneficial. I'm going to stop recording.